Bobby Wine, the opposition leader of Uganda, what is your message in view of International Human Rights Day? Well, my view, uh, my, my message in view of the International Human Rights Day is that let it be a day for all human beings. Let all human beings have the rights to be human. You know, while we appreciate the connectivity of the world, we know that there's double standards in terms of human rights, especially in Africa and particularly in Uganda where I come from. What are your examples of the double standards? How are people treated how are in Uganda? How, what, how, what are the infringements on, on their human rights? Well, in Uganda today, every day we have an average of seven people that are being abducted by the government. Some of them show up severely tortured, others never show up. Um, two years ago, there was a massacre, more than 200 people were killed on the street by the government. It was covered by BBC and all international media, but there was no accountability. Unfortunately, the Western world continues to fund General Museveni and the Ugandan government. On the other side, if this happened in Europe or in another country, it would be condemned so bad. So these are the double standards that we see. We want the international community to hold Uganda and Africa on the same standard of human rights. We've asked it and we continue to ask that the international community should make the rule of law, respect for human rights and democracy a precondition for cooperation with Uganda. Otherwise, they will continue being seen as partners in crime. And...